It is green versus black in House of the Dragon, but I feel like I've went to Las Vegas and bet my house on red because everything this season absolutely sucks. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. Here to review House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 3. This one is called The Burning Mill. And once again, not a lot happened. A one hour and 17 minute episode that just dragged from start to finish. And I'm sick of people putting this show on the same level as Game of Thrones. I'll even accept Game of Thrones was overrated by a lot of people. But holy crap does Game of Thrones shit all over this. If Game of, if Game of Thrones is like an A tier list show then this is like a F tier list show. The, the difference, this must be like one of the most boringest sequels that I've ever, so technically it's a prequel. Sequel, prequel, call it what you will. I'm calling it garbage, man. I don't think people, this is probably my least favourite additional show that I've seen. I, I know Better Call Saul was boring at, at times compared to Breaking Bad. I know the Mayans wasn't as good as Sons of Anarchy. I, I know that Fear the Walking Dead was levels below the original Walking Dead. But I mean, this show for me, the, the gap between this and Game of Thrones is huge. It is huge. It's humongous, to quote uh, Donald Trump. But I, I don't think the show's F tier. I think there's a lot of potential in it if they just sped up the writing. Uh, but there's not. Potential? It, it, first of all, it's boring. It is so slow. There's no likeable characters. The... None of the characters are memorable. We've been seeing the same characters now for a long time, and we, we couldn't name half of them. Yeah, well, but let's no, be honest. No, but no, let's be honest, though, right? Let, let, there's been a, there's uh, been no, a few if, good if, moments. If, right? you, if you plucked out, if you plucked out fifty characters, right, other than maybe ten, see the other forty. I wouldn't be able to tell you if they're on Team Green or Team Black. See if you just lined them up. And they had no uh, no colour or, or no... Um, I couldn't tell you who's Team Green or Team Black. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there you go. I, mean, I, I think uh, Alison's Team Green. Yes, and um, Raniera's Team well, Black. Of course Corley's on Team Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's Corley's doing meeting with people under bridges? Anyway, all right, let, let's just get into this. It wasn't very good. We start in the Riverlands... You've got House Bracken and House Blackwood, so I'm going, to assume, rock stars. I'm going to assume Blackwood's on Team Black. Huh. Uh, they're basically arguing over... Um, who's, got, who's the true king and uh, queen? And, but none of these two factions have got any chance of becoming king or queen or Why whatever. would these two groups kill each other over like who pledges allegiance to what fucking... It makes no sense. Unless they were acting on orders for like... You know, Aegon or Rhaenyra. Why would they kill each other? Yeah, it's this like, seems a bit forced. They haven't even officially chosen a side yet. You know, it's it's just dumb. No, it's dumb. It's absolutely dumb. So, okay. what are you going to do about it, Blackwood? And it just cuts them all in dead. <laughs> what did this achieve? Nothing. Oh, we 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 wasted five minutes showing you this, and everyone that was in the scene's dead. What was the point? That's pretty much it. What characters it? were you building? Nada. Hee haw. Yeah, so we get that, um, whatever happens, there you go, uh, kind of sucked. We then, uh, Dragonstone, we've got Damon doing his own thing, just being a bit of a weirdo, he's tracking, he's going to all these different locations, I guess, trying to get people on his side. We've got Corleys, who is undercover, I don't really know what Corleys is doing, he's, we haven't really seen much of him. He's either in his bed or hiding under fucking <laughs> underwater talking to his wife. Like, yeah, it's pathetic. Is Corley's not allowed to be... Is he still playing dead or something? Like, I mean... He may as well be. I mean, the show's playing dead. Yeah, so we have that. Um, inside, uh, we, we, Alison's brother arrives and I don't think that Sir Christian Cole... Is really that fond of him, but he's not right in another thing. This guy was trying to act Billy Big Balls. Like who, who's he's a fucking jobber. If they removed the hand of the king, who's been there for longer than all these people have been alive, then what are they gonna to do to this guy? I thought he I thought he rocked up and he thought he was something. Who her brother? Aye, yeah, he, he thought he was the fucking rock. Well Christian Cole thinks he's the rock. I at least Christian Cole. Somebody got a haircut. I mean who, who, Christian Cole's alright. 
He's not really. I thought season one he was good. I don't know what's happened. I think he's one of the most fucking unlikable characters in the show. No, he is. He's, he's turned. I don't know what's happened. He's an absolute arsehole. Ever since he got those twins killed. Well, yeah. before that, he was an arsehole, to be honest. The show's just not very good, is it? I didn't really mind Christian Cole up until uh, Raniera burnt him, and then that was kind of, you know, he was, he's been having hissy fits ever since then. Hissy fit left, right, and centre. Yeah, so we see them, they're going out, they're riding, I guess, they're trying to get factions on their side. I, that's, I've got a feeling season two, there's going to be no war. I think season two is going to be basically... Yeah, but I see a lot of similarities in this and Game of Thrones in the sense of, like, war. Well, I tell you what, you say there's a lot of similarities. I'll be shocked if episode 9 of season 2 is as good as Well, no, Black that's war. what I'm saying. I think there is... I, 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 so you think they're building up to a great episode in the penultimate? I mean, I wouldn't say that necessarily, but I just think the writing's cheap. You know why? It's like... The first season consisted of, like, 20 time skips, and it's because they didn't have good enough writing in it. To, like drag out the years without conflict. I, I, you know, obviously TV shows need conflict, but it's almost like, well, this episode needs to have ten time skips to make it make more sense. But then the next three is going to be none. But then after that, we're going to have another seven. It's like you know, if the writer was actually composed and could keep his fucking hand on the on the bit of paper, I think you could write this show a hundred times better than what's actually happened here. Would you agree with that? I think it's all over the place. I think when you've got one season, where about. 20 different time skips then the next season's just all one timeline I think it's ridiculous that's my opinion uh, yeah plus it was hard to follow see when you've got three different sets of actors playing different characters it's like what we and, and in each episode you've got like grandkids appearing great grandkids uh, you know sons daughters great uncles just all oh, it's just one big pile of incestuous dirty <laughs> It is, so Christian Cole and Alicent's brother, they're riding. They're in the woods! Um, then we see one of Damon's... Daughters. Illegit well, I guess they're not illegitimate, they're, they're legit. We see one of Damon's uh, mixed race. They don't look like him. <laughs> we see one of them flying about on their dragon, and they spot Christian Cole. Christian Cole's like, we gotta get to cover! So they start galloping like it's the Grand National here, as if they're trying to win by a furlong. They make it into like the woods where the trees are covering them, uh, and then the the girl on the dragon just flies away. I don't know her name. I can't remember her name, right? Really but see, when she reports back, she's like, "Yeah, I could have killed him if I wanted to, but I didn't." I, that's why I hate fucking dragons. Here you've got the king's guards, right? So Christian Cole, among others, and this like what fourteen year old. But could fuck? she have killed him though? She said she could have. She's like, yeah, but I didn't. No, well, did, well, what was the point? If that was the case, then what, why did they think they were safe in the... Well, but, no, but they didn't know she wasn't going to kill them or not. What are you on about? The reason they got to the woods was so that she couldn't kill them? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because they'd be hidden? Aye. But, she, but she's claiming, how could she then? She, how did she have the... Well, uh, someone watched the episode. She was letting on that she could have got them, but I didn't. It was like more like reconnaissance. That's what she said. You're talking shit. No, you're talking no, shit. No, what's her what's her name then? That's her name's irrelevant. You're making it like she had them. The, she never had the opportunity to kill them. They got to safety. She could have burnt the whole woods down if she wanted to. Oh, I hear dragon waste all your fiery breath. Oh, on, wait, on, it's on, not ammunition, dickhead. It's fire. So you think they can just produce fire, unlimited amount, well, unlimited fucking... ammo, cheat codes or something? No, my my beef is. Like, you've got a kid that can fly around a dragon and wipe out, like, half the king's guard. It's pish. Coincident. I, I think you should have to be a decent level of fighter to Co actually fly a dragon. Coinc yes, no, yes or no? Well, maybe. But coincidentally, right, it, by the time people say Game of Thrones goes to shite, that's actually when the dragons are big enough to, to do something in battle. So maybe we've got... Correlation? Maybe... Correlation. Maybe dragons. Just, maybe dragons just suck. I think they suck. But you know that's right because like you got Jamie Lannister, right? Oh, the greatest swordsman to ever live. It just doesn't feel right that Bran, broken back Bran, that he pushed out a window. Was he gay? No. Broke back Bran. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? He broke his back. Paralyzed Bran. It doesn't seem right that he could just like saddle into a dragon <laughs> and, and turn Jamie Lannister into toast, golden <laughs> toast. You got the golden hair, now you're golden brown toast. You know, it just doesn't sit right with me. Um, yeah, right, so we've got we've got that. we got uh, Damon getting all these houses on his side. Um, and then Raniera decides, no, I need to get into King's Landing. So she goes to King's Landing, sneaks in, 
talks with Alison here about trying to resolve things without, I guess, all this death. And it feels like it's went too far. It's like beyond the line of resolving things. And how can... I just... I, I'm not buying it, Raniera sneaking in. Like, I'll, if Alison had a brain cell, she could have captured Raniera here and, and basically made Team Black surrender and, and have Team Black pronounce her son as the rightful king. And she could have won the crown for her son, but without spilling bloodshed. Yeah. No, totally. That, that's what she could have done. But Instead she didn't of have... allowing Raniera to sneak in and then just let her go. Yeah, no. I... Didn't make much sense to me. I thought this was a ridiculous manoeuvre here from Raniera. I think it's just plot armour written all over it, to be perfectly honest. Like, I look at Game of Thrones and, you know, I, I know each person's different, each to their own, but would, like, Cersei have just fucking let uh, Lady Stark walk in? Probably not. Man, like... No, probably not. And I think it's guard. I mean, Alison's whole reason for this whole, you know, going after the throne was she feared her sons wouldn't be safe if Raniera took the throne. Well... You, you had a fucking chance to end it and you didn't. I, I, I just I just don't get it. Ridiculous. Raniera just... And just... And yo, how does no one recognise her? She used to live there. She could be the queen. It's not like she was wearing a barba calava, folks. Yeah, so um, that was pretty much it. You anything to add? Anything to add? Oh, there was two deaths, by the way. Oh, I know about the scene with Aegon and Aemond. He was in the, the whorehouse and he just stood up and mopped it. Yeah, that was weird. So Aegon walks in and... This we, guy gets skinnier by the day. Is he keeping them in Auschwitz or something? Yeah, we just... Then Aemon just gets up and he's like, Yeah, no, nah, Aegon's making fun of him. Oh, this was his first whore and it's the only one he wants. And Aemon's like, nah, whore's a whore. You can have her. And he just walk, gets up, walks off. And very strange scene. Didn't just, really like it. Yo, I, I, think I think they're beginning to butcher Aemon. I thought last season, towards the end, I thought he was... He you was call like, him Raymond? <laughs> Raymond Fan, nay, I barn for not. I got the eye the tiger. I the dragon. Aemond, Aemond Targaryen. Yeah, I mean, I think Aemond is probably my favourite character, but season two has done absolutely nothing for him. No, I thought towards the end of season one he was good. He stood up, he had the one eye, he was intimidating. I he, traded an eye for a dragon. It was a good trade. All he's done this season is take off his clothes and look like Razor Ramon's toothpick. Down out, down, down out, down, 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 down. Marvelous me. Anyway, guys, that's it. It was a shite episode. I'm going to give this a four out of ten, and it's, it's a generous four. Just very, very boring. Yeah. Let's bear in mind, folks. It was an hour and seventeen minutes long. I feel like when an episode's that long, it needs to deliver. It needs to have importance. Yeah, to it. Th this could have been a this could have been a forty three minute special and and achieved the same thing. You know what? I you look at you look at TV shows right, and some do these long ass episodes right. Some don't, or some only save them for like the finale. I mean, what the fuck are we doing here? This is a throwaway episode in addition. It it's even you're going to have like a filler episode. It may as well don't be have short. it be a minute and seventeen an hour I and seventeen. I wish it was a minute and seventeen. Yeah, anyway guys, um, that is it, just, I don't know, didn't, didn't really do it for me this episode, I'm getting it a 4 out of 10. I'm going to get it a 4 as well. Yeah, there you go guys, 4 out of 10, just uh, pretty damn poor if you ask me, but hopefully it picks up, I think season 2 has been, it's been really poor, episode 2 I think has been the best, but it, even that, episode 2 wasn't good. No. Let's, let's be honest here, very, very slow, very slow, um, <sighs> Yeah, no, it's uh, it's not good, guys. It is not good. Although Game of uh, Game of Thrones, I wouldn't say Game of Thrones season two started poor though. It's, it was a bit slow, but it was. I thought the episodes were still decent. No, I, agree. I can't say the same about these episodes. It's been I don't know. Like if you waited two years on this, I don't see how you're not disappointed with what you've received so far. No, I agree. Definitely agree, guys. Anyway, episode four. Soon, uh, we've got the promo for it. I don't know, if, is there a mid-season finale with this show? Or? Nope, no mid-season finales then, just, just mid. Just mid, mid-tier. Till next time, peace.